checking on the high remove on the back of this old building. Secretary said Orkin came and got them in February. But I see them flying. Yeah, they weren't flying a while ago. They're moving now. Maybe the wet rain? Yeah. They're going to go in through the back of this wall here. close it up I'm gonna wait the bees out for them but they're gonna have to block it off or they're gonna have another hive in here again access isn't too bad right there <laughs> right there is where I gotta take that uh, siding off so I'm gonna uh, get with them see if they want me to do it and this will be another video this is the old part of Wiggins Better get that looked at. It's a cool little old town. One more removal to look at on this nasty rainy day. That's a brand new muddy pad been rained on this afternoon. I got my good shoes on. I think I'll look at this one from the comfort of my truck. <laughs> I already know they're in the floor. I just had to come find out where it was. I know you can't see them from here, but they're right at the joint of those two sections. Left side of the double doors, I can see them flying. No problem. Just gonna get muddy. Come back in a few days after it dries up a little bit. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Just about to get started on them. Got about two hours to dark. And I haven't been under there to see them. I just see a lot of activity. They're just getting set up for a new church and the mover informed them of the bees they said they had honey dripping out from under it when they got it set up so it's an established colony not a new swarm been in this building through the winter I would assume now I just gotta figure out where they at I see them zipping past me hope they're not way back up under there now here they come Be careful of those things. I don't know what the heck that is. Some kind of big giant spider egg. There's a few of them under here. Maybe a giant arachnid. <laughs> I barely fit under here. They got this thing strapped together. I guess until they get it bolted together and I'm squeezing under straps. I had to move a pile of lumber just to get under the edge here. Alright, got the belly cloth cut. Let's film this void here. I can't see anything in there. Got to the camera. Now look at it. Okay, I moved over from between the <laughs> good thing I don't have to work between the piers now I figured out the hive is over here so I moved over and I went to feel around to cut the feel where to cut the belly cloth and the uh, first thing I hit was hive hanging down feels like it's gonna be a big one listen <laughs> Come
coming out this little hole. There's another little hole there. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Started smoking again. <laughs> Just don't inhale. Yeah. That's right, John. I feel like it's going to be a big one. Ugh. I'm getting stuff dropping in my eyes. They're pretty docile so far. They're, funny. They're telling me to go away. I got my ears and mouth full of rust or something. It's a big one. Got a bucket ready. These first ones are full of honey. A little bit of crunchy comb. Man, this stuff's hard as a rock. Stuff tastes like molasses. It's good. The only one's gonna be in a fix is me because I'm. Mm -hmm. I said the only one's gonna be in a fix is me because I'm under here laying in it. I got extra shirts. I said I got extra shirts somewhere. Just a massive chunk of honey. <coughs> That's some good tasting stuff right there. Oh Lord, what? Third comb in starts brood and still a lot of honey. That's good. This stuff tastes really, really good. 
and look how puffy my hand is. I got stung yesterday. And here's the fourth comb in. One, two, three, four. Good stuff. <laughs> Here's the queen. She's bigger than life and big pretty thing. Good. Cage her up. <laughs> mm, gotta have a cage first. I missed her. <clears throat> well, stick her in the box if you can't find a cage. She ain't going nowhere. You don't know where the cages are? In the back of my truck. In the back seat or? Back in the bed. Boy, I ain't kidding. This honey is some kind of good. It tastes, it tastes a lot like molasses. Goodness, that's some good stuff. Man, I don't know where they got it from, but that's some jam up honey. Yeah. Can you see her? Yeah, she is. Can you see her? Oh, I can't. Hold her. Uh -uh. Yep, let's see her. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah. I missed her. I handed oh. I handed him a slab of uh, brood. And she was on it. Hey man, how's it going? Impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good hive. <clears throat> we found the queen right off the bat. That's unusual. That's right. That is great. <clears throat> they do. <laughs> They're not always that way. The temperature can change and they change. It just, you never know. That's fine. Let's see. We're one, two, three, four, five, five or six <clears throat> combs in. We're still in some pretty heavy brood. Looks like it's going to be going a little while. Mm -hmm. now this is all. This is all brood. This is bees. Yes, sir. Gosh. This is honeycomb right here. Yes, sir. You see the difference in the color? Yes, sir. That's all just honey. This is bees. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. The white ones are some that have not been capped yet. Yes. That they'll cap them over and they'll finish. And these that look like little bullets sticking out are the drones, the males. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, we're all but done with the hive removal. Hives out all except for one, one comb I left hanging in there. The last comb I cut out, about 3,000 3, bees fell on top of me and I had to flick them off of me and try to get out from under there without smashing a bunch of them. I only got stung about 10 times crawling out. <laughs> so we got a mess. It's cold. The honey's thick and sticky. Everything's sticky. But we got a queen. And we got brood. And we got no rubber bands. We got string. But. Somebody don't want to try to tie something Tell up. me how to wrap it up with that. Let's go get I, the rubber bands. Tie a knot. Get a granny knot. You tie a knot. Well, we're wrapping it up. Probably 50 degrees. Maybe even colder than that. It's getting pretty chilly. Probably 10,000 bees are so clustered up under there that are not going to the box because they're so cold. They're just clustering up and there's probably 20 be 20 or 30 bees on the front of the box fanning and everybody's just ignoring them they're like you're crazy if you think i'm walking over there it's too cold so we're gonna take the box and what we've got now and somebody one of us come back in the morning and vacuum what's left yeah sometime in the morning it's gonna be real cold in the morning too though They'll all be clustered in one spot. Shouldn't be hard to get tomorrow them. Tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> yeah, get them tomorrow morning. They'll be in one spot. Nobody'll be flying. Yeah. Get every last one of them. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. That piece of cone <coughs> was the last, last of the uh, hive. 
It's full of honey. How much honey do we get? About half a bucket. Mm -hmm. Man, that's some of the best honey. <laughs> I don't know. That's I'm... finger licking good. <laughs> it's thick. Look at that. Them bees are stuck in it. It's like a glue trap. <laughs> Stuff's thick and, and really good. That's going to be... That's going to be the Dirt Rooster private label. <laughs> Keep that stuff for myself. We'll get it out of my uh, trailer private label so we can... I'm filthy. Yeah. Dirty. Cover with dirt, insulation, and honey. Even the old rooster hat got covered with insulation. Hey, can I get some of that curbside service? Hey, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs>